Richie. It's a pleasure to be here with you on Muscle Beach today, and congratulations on your award. Oh, thank you very much, John. I mean, this is such an honor for me to be here. Um, I, I don't know. I'm really touched. Like, I was this inspiring young kid, you know, that used to read the magazine or still read the magazines at a thir 13 years old, you know, dreaming of coming to Venice Beach and then later coming here and becoming this professional bodybuilder and, and then, you know, over 20 years later, today being inducted is just a great honor. Let's uh, start really with the journey to Muscle Beach and it really started with Gold Jim and Ed Connors. Well, Ed Connors, the uh, original owner of Gold's Gym, saw me competing in the, in the, um, the Nationals, which then was called the, the Mr. America, uh, which I came in fifth place uh, at a young age of 20 years old. And he saw that I had this, you know, this opportunity and, and he gave me this chance to move out to California. So he basically said, hey, move out to California, you know, and I'm going to give you this job um, in one of my gyms in the Valley. But I did live here in Venice Beach for three months got to train at the Gold's Gym, got to train, you know, at the pit. So I had this, you know, this whole experience of being in California, in, you know, in Venice. Um, I remember the first time I saw you, you were training with Lee Haney at World Gym on 2nd Street. And I all of a sudden really recognized the kind of fire and drive that you had. Well, you know, it's funny about Lee Haney. Lee Haney, who, who beat Arnold's record of uh, eight times Mr. Olympia, he saw me training in the Valley, and, and he asked me, he was getting ready for his first Mr. Olympia, and he asked me, like, Rich, you trained so intensely. He goes, I want you to be, you know, my training partner. And, you know, I was honored to train with this professional bodybuilder while I was still amateur. And that year was amazing because uh, Lee Haney won his first Mr. Olympia, and I won the Nationals, and then Mr. Universe and turned pro. It was an amazing year, and I think both Lee Haney recognizing that intensity and then you taking a huge step here, really, to train with somebody of his stature. Uh, yes, it was, it was great. And, you know, it's funny about Lee Haney. He always talks about it because he goes, you know, I told you all my secrets, <laughs> he goes to me. And then I never knew that you were going to be right up my tail, uh, you know, coming in second place right behind me. You know, I see, saw you as this kid, but then you became, you know, Rich the Itch. I was always this guy right behind her giving him the itch. That photo shoot that I did with you then captured a kind of intensity of two people training that I've rarely seen and probably has never been duplicated. Uh, we, we had the best training. I mean, like I said, that was the year that Lee Haney was in the best shape of his life, uh, winning the Mr. Olympia. And, you know, both of us, it, we just had such an experience in, in living here and training at the World's Gym and coming to Venice. and. It, it was just an amazing thing that both of us trained so hard for that. We both helped each other. He taught me a lot. At that time, I was doing more powerlifting movements. He taught me how to really hit the muscles a lot harder and getting my upper body. I helped him train his legs, got his calves up, you know, so that he can win that Mr. Olympia. Yeah, there was great, great synergy there and great personalities, the way they worked together. You really fed on each other. Oh, definitely. You know, Lee, Lee is a great, a great man and, and, you know, a great champion as Mr. Olympia. We still communicate, um, you know, and, and we're best of friends. And that's still really cool to have these years later, you know, now that we're retired. And, you know, I continued on, you know, with working in the industry. Him too now. He comes to, he goes, you know, you, I gave you all my secrets. Now I come to you for advice. So... <laughs> Well, the shoe's on the other foot, as they say. Yes. And and you were runner-up to Lee uh, twice? Three years in a row. Three years in a row. And top five in the Mr. Olympia for seven years, so. Yeah, well, it was a fantastic performance. And then, and then you moved into the business world. Well, uh, after I retired from bodybuilding, you know, I kind of felt lost. I owned a gym, and I said, man, there's got to be more to this. So I started, a, you know, my, my supplement line, Gasparing Nutrition, and I, I started from grassroots with, with nothing and, you know, I had a van and some money and had this brand that I just pushed around the tri-state area in New Jersey and just, you know, in, reinvested and had that thing grow and grow and grow until today we're in over 85 countries, uh, one of the top brands in the United States. Um, and we continue to grow and I, I continue to have that aspiration of being the best. Interesting, I asked you, you know, what did you bring to the supplement business and you said to me, well, I feel that I brought, you know, integrity. Um, I brought something where, you know, people can look at a brand and know the person behind it. A lot of the supplement companies are really faceless entities and corporations. You know, I'm a person that stands behind my line. You know, they know me. I'm the CEO. 
I'm out there in the trenches, I go to the shows. Uh, very few CEOs do that. The other thing, the word you left out was uh, intensity, because you said to me that you brought the same kind of intensity and focus to your business as you learned in bodybuilding. Definitely, intensity is a big, you know, is a big part of you know, my success. Uh, I truly believed in myself as a bodybuilder, and when I competed, people, they were naysayers saying I would never be where I got in bodybuilding. When I started my supplement line again, there was these huge corporations and companies with a lot more money uh, saying I would never be successful. And I just said, you know what? I'm gonna do what I did in bodybuilding and just be intense, work hard, and you know, success came. So the life lessons learned in all those years of bodybuilding just transferred directly to business. Definitely, I, you know, I hope other athletes, you know, take that, um, you know, that focus and intensity that they put into sport they need to take that and put that in anything they do in life, and they can be successful. Great. Richie, a pleasure. Thank you, John. And, and thank you, and congratulations again. Thank you very much.